Learning data analysis from scratch is actually pretty straightforward. There is a very clear path that you should follow to make sure that you're learning everything you need to learn to either land your first job as a data analyst or feel confident including data analysis as a skill on your resume. So here's your roadmap for becoming a data analyst from scratch. There are four main skills that every good data analyst should have in their toolbox. First, if you're not already familiar with spreadsheets, spend a little bit of time learning the basics. You don't need to get really advanced, but you should know how to perform basic calculations, aggregate your data with formulas and pivot tables, and create charts and graphs. Spend maybe two to five hours learning spreadsheets and move on. Next, you'll want to learn SQL. SQL is often thought of as the bread and butter skill for data analysis because it's the coding language you use to get and manipulate data. If you're not proficient in SQL, you won't be able to get data for your analysis. So learn SQL and learn it well. Next, you need to learn how to visualize data. If you're just creating basic charts and graphs, you might just use Excel, but for more advanced visualizations and interactive dashboards, you'll need to learn how to use a BI tool. If you're already familiar creating charts and graphs in Excel, then a more advanced BI tool might feel intuitive to you. Most dashboard and BI tools are pretty easy to learn for most people, and they usually include tons of documentation in case you get stuck. The last tool that you need in your data analysis toolbox is a coding language like Python or R. This is probably the least critical skill that you need to have, at least at first. A lot of what you would likely be doing in Python could also be done in Excel, SQL, and a BI tool, but some teams lean heavily into automation that's just easier to do with a more robust coding language. So to recap, the four skills that you need to learn are Excel, SQL, a visualization tool, and a coding language. Keep in mind that for most of these tools, it takes a long time to become an expert. So so commit to being a lifelong learner and expect to continue learning throughout your career.